How's it going everyone? Got a lot to cover in this video. Got updates on two PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 titles that you'll be able to play absolutely free. One very soon, one in about a week and a half. So be on the lookout for those. We have an update on a free to play game. We have free DLC. So a lot of stuff. We have an update on a game that will ultimately become free to play. But if you want to play it now, you can pay $30 and play Disney Dreamlight Valley. More on that briefly at the end of this video. But first up, if you are an F1 fan you'll be able to play F1 2022 starting tomorrow for free. I know F1 has gotten a lot more popular. I don't know if this is just anecdotal, but this Drive to Survive show, I believe it's on Netflix. All my boys talk about it, and now they're just fiends for F1. I was never a big F1 guy, but nonetheless... If you are one of those people that are super into it, you want a racing title, uh, F1 2022 will be free to play uh, starting tomorrow until October the 24th. This coincides with the real life U.S. Grand Prix and Austin Circuit of the Americas. Uh, so, yeah, I guess the timing works out pretty well. I always like when they, like, figure that stuff out whenever, like, a sporting event coincides with something going on with a sports title, a sports game. I know they do that a lot with the UFC games. Uh, they do that a lot with Madden, I believe, as well. So, yeah, probably something pretty basic to do, but uh, I appreciate that a little, uh, that little attention to detail. All right, moving on from that, also, multiplayer title in Dead by Daylight. You'll be able to free uh, play that for free over a Halloween uh, weekend. That's from October 27th until November the 1st. It's also enjoying its Halloween season right now. That'll be lasting from October 11th, so it's been going on for a little while until November the 3rd. So new content rolling out as a part of that seems like a pretty typical uh, Halloween game uh, to play Obviously, it's a multiplayer title asymmetrical multiplayer game So you'll probably want to jump in on that with a couple of friends I imagine the game will be going on sale as well during that period So be on the lookout for that dead by daylight does have a ton of DLC content So just be mindful for of that but uh, yeah, that will be available free to play come October 27th until November the 1st. All right, next up, Crossout Supercharge Update trailer dropped a few days ago. Now, if you don't know, Crossout is a free to play title that you can pick up on PlayStation 4. And it does have a PlayStation 5 upgrade and you can check it out right now. The trailer notes, Car Combat Online game Crossout is getting supercharged update this October with massive graphics overhaul. It adds global illumination, contact shadows, SSLR, motion blur, lens flare, bloom, and a ton of other reworked effects to make PlayStation 5 version of the game look as great as never before. PlayStation 4 players will also get to enjoy a host of new features and all that without any sacrifices of game performance on both generations. Obviously, this is a vehicular combat game. I know when we talk vehicular combat, most people are akin to think of something like Twisted Metal. This is something, you know, quite a bit different than Twisted Metal. But nonetheless, a nice update coming here. And uh, again, that is available free to play on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Noting, join Crossout, the post-apocalyptic MMO action game. Craft your unique battle machines from dozens of interchangeable parts. Ride them into combat and destroy your enemies in explosive PvP online battles. You've got unique vehicles crafted by the players using a wide range of available parts. Complete freedom of creativity and thousands of possible combinations. Great vehicles of any shape using dozens of parts. Wide variety of armor and weapons as well as support systems. Advanced damage model. Destroy any part of an enemy machine and it will affect the vehicle's performance immediately and huge arsenal of weapons from chainsaws power drills over machine guns to rocket launchers flying drones and stealth generations in your own workshop create new advanced parts and auction them at the in-game marketplace and trading options every piece you have gathered in battle can be sold to other players as well so cross out is available free to play on ps4 and ps5 there is you know season uh battle passes uh, the season 9 battle pass is 9.99 and there is in-game uh, microtransactions that is to be expected with a free-to-play game like this all right moving on from that some free dlc if you got sackboy a big adventure to celebrate the launch of uncharted the legacy of thieves collection on pc today you can pick up sackboy a big adventure the nathan drake costume as well as the chloe frazier costume both of those are available for free right now i think the nathan drake costume looks pretty fly not gonna lie obviously sackboy a big adventure has a lot of dlc that celebrates other uh playstation ips i believe they've got ghost of tsushima con Content, Horizon content, and maybe some other stuff on top of that. There's a ton of free DLC, so go check it out for yourself. As far as the game, Sackboy Big Adventure I thought was a pretty good platformer. It's kind of unfortunate that LBP has kind of died off as one of, you know, Sony's premier IPs, and Sackboy as one of Sony's premier mascots. I feel like in 08 and uh, 010, or rather 2010, when uh, when uh, Little Big Planet 2 and 1 came out, like, Sackboy was being... Uh, prep to be like one of the 
kind of mascots alongside like Kratos and whatnot as like Sony's pillar IPs. That's not really the case anymore. I still thought Sackboy A Big Adventure was a charming platformer. Not available through PlayStation Plus Extra yet, but I imagine it will be coming to that service sooner rather than later. Maybe this holiday even. I think that would be a great addition to, you know, gather some interest for Plus uh, Extra and get more people to sign up uh, this holiday. All right, moving on from that, Disney Dreamlight Valley gets a new major update. Scar's Kingdom update is now available. Now, this is a game that will ultimately be free to play. However, it is currently available in paid early access. So with this, uh, you pay $29.99 and you'll be able to try out the game right now. So, uh, you know, your mileage may vary on whether or not you want to check it out with... Uh, with that $29.99 purchase. It's been received really, really strongly. Like, I have I haven't played it personally, but I've just heard great things from people. And from people that aren't even, like, big into Disney IPs, they've just really enjoyed it. So, take that for what you will. If you're a fan of Disney IPs, you'll probably really enjoy it. Uh, the update notes in Scar's Kingdom, the iconic savanna of the Sunlit Plateau is in peril. The pillar of nurturing, once the key to keeping the plateau vibrant and green, has dried up and is blocked by mysterious and dark magic. In order to bring the plateau back to life, you'll need to team up with Scar, the would-be usurper of the Pride Lands who was trapped while the forgetting ravaged a Dreamlight Valley. You may want to equip uh, your royal pickaxe too as you'll head to a new area deep within the plateau's mines to restore the pillar of nurturing and find source of the problem, all while dealing with Scar's less than honest motivations. In addition to Scar's kingdom content, you will find a new star path awaiting you on the events page, this time with a nefarious flair. You'll need to tap into your dark side and befriend the villains living in the valley, or perhaps just skulk around alongside them as you complete event duties, you'll be rewarded with tokens that you can spend on exclusive items inspired by Halloween and Disney villains. Sometimes it's good to be bad. Seasonal content with Halloween on the horizon. You will find new items in the screw shop and new craftables items at your workbench. We have also added a few tricks and treats planned. Stay tuned for mu uh, more news. Community-driven changes have been implemented as well, and then bug issues have been implemented on top of that. Bear in mind, the game is still in early access, so a lot of the, you know issues with the game are still being worked out. It's paid early access, $29.99, but still, at the end of the day, that is early access. So, take that for what it is, and ultimately, the game will be a full free-to-play title when it drops in 2023. I'll give you guys a heads up as we get closer to that launch day, uh, which we don't even know yet. We know it's coming sometime in 2023 when it transitions out of early access, but at this point, still gonna be in early access for the foreseeable future. And that is gonna do it for me again. F122 is gonna be free-to-play starting tomorrow until the 24th, so go check that out if you're interested you want to play dead by daylight with a couple friends october 27th until november the first check that out cross out gets its supercharged update trailer sack boy a big adventure get some free dlc with nathan drake's costume and chloe frazier costume and then disney dreamlight valley gets its scars kingdom update that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.